What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. Always a pleasure having you guys in the kitchen with me today. Something that takes me back to my childhood, yet very today as well, because I've been into the ramen quite deep lately, and one of the things in ramen is char siu pork or Chinese barbecue pork. I'm going to show you guys how simple it is to make it. Now, this is my version of it. I do not like sesame oil, so you won't see sesame oil in there. You'll see me add ginger. You'll see me do some... Some other neat things, so stay tuned, all right? What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click. And the first thing we've got to make them is the marinade for this. And we've got to leave it overnight to marinate. What I did was I have here a big piece of fermented bean curd. And this is what it's going to look like if you've never used it before. I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of the sort of teaspoon, of, well, a tablespoon of the syrup as well. And now all I'm doing is crushing it like so and mixing it around. Give that a good mix. Then we're going to go in with light soy sauce, dark soy sauce. Yeah, they both have a reason for being in there, both have different flavor profiles. We've got some Chinese cooking wine, brown sugar, and that's just some golden brown sugar, some Chinese five spice powder, honey, let's work that honey in there. That's where you're going to get that sweet and savory and everything else. We've got some oyster sauce. Of course, you know, there's going to be that richness from some hoisin as well. One of my favorite things to use. It's going to give that a good little stir. We've got a couple more ingredients to go in there. It's already looking lovely. It smells amazing, by the way. And I like going in with one clove of fresh garlic in there. I'm just going to work that into it. And something else I like, it's all about fragrance as well, some grated ginger. Now you're going to notice some of these things is not traditional to the recipe, but this is what I like using. These are the flavors I like. Get all that nice ginger in there. Give that a mix. Really want to incorporate everything. I'm going to go in with a few drops of red food coloring. That's gonna give it that punch of red that this recipe is supposed to have. I know the red food coloring is something not traditional to the recipe. There are different ways they would use to get that red color, but that is what I'm gonna have, all right? The pork, I remember. All the ingredients I use here today will be listed down in the description of the video. But the pork is just a shoulder that I've cut into long strips. You notice there's a bit of fat and all that there. That is cool. And this one here is a little bit big, but we're trying to keep them the sort of same thickness all the way through. So what we need to do there, it's washed, it's nice and clean. We're going to pour in, and I'm not trying to con cross to contaminate, but we're just going to pour in that gravy. <laughs> gravy listen to me that marinade <laughs> all over the pork now the thing is we've got to reserve half of this marinade for later on so hold back half put it into a little container container and put it into the refrigerator so I'm pulling back about half but now we got to go in there you can go in with your hands with tongs and give everything a good mix now after you've massaged the pork and make sure every little nook and cranny <clears throat> gets some of that uh, that marinade. You want to put some plastic wrap over it. If you wanted to put this into a zipper bag and put it into the fridge at that point, that is what we're going to do. But it's very important now that we allow that to marinate overnight for at least, I don't know, 8 to 12 hours, okay? Some of this wrap on that. And that is going into the fridge overnight, but before I go to bed, I'm going to give it a little mix around. I took it out of the fridge, I removed the, the covering I had on it, and I had it 
coming up to room temperature for about half an hour. I have here my baking sheet lined with foil and the reason why I have foil there is it's going to make cleaning up after a lot easier. My oven is preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. If you're using a convection oven with a fan, you'll want to go to 375 degrees Fahrenheit so the pork doesn't stick too much on my, my sort of grill here. Let's put some cooking spray and we're just going to put these bad boys on top of the wire rack here. Have some space in between them. And that's going to go into the oven, the middle rack. Just going to pour that on the extra sort of marinade that I have here. And into that 400 degree oven, remember if you're using one with a fan, a convection oven, it will be 375 degrees. The other thing I'm going to be doing here is pouring some water onto the tray so you don't get flare-ups while it's in the oven. And before I forget, this is the, the marinade. This was never in contact with any meat at all. Um, this is the, the, the marinade we reserved. To this, I'm going to add two tablespoons of honey. So in total, we'll need four tablespoons of honey. Again, all the ingredients will be listed down below, but we're going to add two tablespoons of honey to this, and that's going to become our glaze. 20 minutes later, it's been removed from the oven here. And you can see color is starting to develop. So what we're going to do at this point is flip them over. Just so we can help develop some of the color on the other side as well. Now these are thick pieces of meat, so if yours is a bit thinner, you may want to only go 15 minutes, but I know these are thicker and I want them to cook all the way through. Back into the oven for another 20 minutes. Now you may want to put some more water again on your tray, all right? I added the, uh, the two tablespoons of honey and it's still got those specks of garlic in there, the five spice, a bit of ginger. And remember, that ginger is totally my, my little addition, all right? That is not traditional to the recipe. And I never once said anything about this being traditional. For all the people who come in to hate on Uncle Chris, no, stop. This is just Uncle Chris's version based on what I would enjoy on the islands, yes. We've had this for over a century and a half on the islands, plus my godfather's chef, my godfather is of Chinese uh, heritage, and his chef would make this for me every time I would visit. 20 minutes later, it's out of the oven, so this is where now we're going to start brushing on the glaze. I just want to sort of damp it on there, and it's going to go back into the oven. This is the same side, we just took it out. Don't worry too much about that. And this one, we're going to do three times. So we're going to do this side. It's going to go into the oven for five minutes. And then we're going to take it out, flip it over, do the bottom side. And then back into the oven, bring it back out for a third little glazy glaze, you know. So after the first glaze, I'm going back on with the second. And to be honest with you, if I have more glaze left back, I may do it. I said I was going to do it three times, but I think I'm going to do it four times, to be honest with you. I may have enough. So this is going back into the oven now. Another five minutes. And there we go. Straight out of the oven, I glazed it four times five minutes apart hold on let me turn on the lights the reason why i don't turn on the lights is it's going to make it overly bright and it may not give, show you that nice glaze i really wanted to impress you all with the glaze just tighten up a little bit there let's see what happens lovely char soup pork yo this is something true to my heart just not only do i like it 
in all those ramen soups and all that I love it in fried rice but when I was a kid and my godfather chef would make it it would just be sliced up you know I would probably recommend and I should be doing it is allowing this to sort of cool down first but I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful this is Notice we got that little bit of red ring around, which is char siu pork is famous for. Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com. A lovely little recipe here. Let's see if I can zoom in a little bit for you guys. There we go. You're going to love this one, man. I'm going to make some sandwiches with this. And then, maybe, just maybe, I'll make some fried rice yeah